I want to start this video off with this post. Our reliance on AI chatbots and models to the point of us not being able to function without them is exactly why we will never scale up as a software engineer. So in this video, I hope to explain to you why we need to throw all the AI chatbots and AI model companies in a trash bin and set it on fire. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm against using AI for coding in our daily day-to-day -day activities. The first point that needs to be addressed when we use chatbots for our coding activities is that the chatbots deprive us of our researching abilities. If you talk to any senior developer working in a team, then you must know that senior developers often talk to one another about alternatives to a solution that they are building for their project. We have to understand that there is no such thing called a one size fits all kind of solution. One project solution that you have built may be completely inefficient in another project that you want to inject that code in. So what happens in these scenarios when we use AI chatbots or models to query our question and get the answer from it and implement that in our project is that it deprives us of our researching capabilities. What the AI chatbot is doing is boiling down all the information that it has been trained on and giving you the answer in two or three paragraphs. Usually when we read articles and blogs, supporting information about that topic is always given below that. So let's say that you want to learn about SQLize and how to implement that in your project. The difference between using an AI chatbot and reading a blog will be enormous. So we will query that uh, to the chatbot. It will give you a basic tutorial. But if you read it in an article, it will boil down every little thing that you may need to know, especially in developer documentation if you read it. Not only do they cover the specific thing that you are looking for, it will also cover miscellaneous things about that concept that may be useful to you. So we need to be aware when we use ChatGPT for implementing solutions to our project because all that ChatGPT cares is that taking all the information that it has been trained on, boil it down to two or three paragraphs and give it to you and let you figure out what you want to do with it. We don't get to learn about miscellaneous things about that concept that we are querying the chatbot for. The next point is the lack of options. This is where I lean towards Stack Overflow because the difference between querying a chatbot for a question and querying in Stack Overflow is that Stack Overflow gives you a lot of options for the solution that you are looking for. You query the chatbot and it gives you just one answer. In most cases, I'm talking, not in all cases. But on Stack Overflow, if you Google that problem, you usually have multiple people give their perspective and opinions about the problem and how they solved it. This is a very real example of me using an ExpressJS application inside an iframe and I wanted that ExpressJS app to maintain the authentication, session authentication basically, and I wasn't able to get it working. Now I used ChatGPT and it told me to use a separate combination of session store options that we initialize. But the actual solution that worked was this hidden comment on a Stack Overflow post that told me to do app.set trust proxy one. This is something that the ChatGPT model wasn't able to tell me because it doesn't know about my problem to be able to give an answer in just two or three paragraphs. Okay. Usually in real world applications, my problems won't be the exact same as your problems, even if we are working on the same tech stack. Something that can work for you may not be able to work for me or vice versa. This is where we need a bunch of options to our problems, which the ChatGPT model or the chatbot models don't provide that. The third point that we need to address is the validity of the answers. And this is something that shouldn't be taken lightly. The disclaimer that OpenAI gives you, being like chatbot can make mistakes, please check important info, is something that we should be taking seriously. Even if AI chatbots have had one and a half years of training data, and given if we put humans and AI on the same scale, then humans only work eight hours of the day. But a chatbot that is running 24-7, has had way much more training than us. So easily four or five years worth of training that AI chatbot has gone through and still OpenAI wouldn't remove that line. When ChatGPT makes mistakes, it usually gets passed off as funny or meme material. But this is exactly why we need to take it more seriously to question the answers that ChatGPT gives us. And before we take that answers too literally and implement that in our project, we should be careful that we might end up in a situation where we end up with a solution that we do not even understand how it works because we never investigated the answer to begin with. We never weighed out our options. We never cross questioned the chat GPT model or questioned basically any aspect of the answer that it gave us. 
Now, initially, when we work with less data in our project, the solutions do work fine. But we need to think about scalability and how the system may behave if the system gets bombarded with thousands of requests every minute, let's say. In those cases, the solutions may fall apart and we might be ending up in a situation where we are comparable for it and we might lose our jobs even in worst case scenarios. The next aspect that we need to address is on our own part, which is our laziness. See, our minds behave just like our body does. We do not want to go to the gym. Staying at home and relaxing is way more convenient than going to the gym and putting some effort in to improve ourselves. Our minds work the same way. So today you are giving ChatGPT smaller set of problems to speed up your development process and before you know it, tomorrow you are giving it heavy modules to work on just because you don't want to spend some time thinking about the higher use cases of that module. This is something that we should be really careful of because the problems that ChatGPT gives you, it doesn't have the intent to help you out genuinely. All it is designed for is to take a question, parse what you may really need and just give you the answer in two or three paragraphs. No more information, no less information than that. So when we take answers of chatbot models way too literally, we should keep in mind that these answers can blow up very quickly if we don't do our own due diligence and test out the solutions given by the chatbot model. So the next thing that we need to address is accolades. And if you remember a quote from Joey from Friends, he said that no good deed is selfless. And I do believe in this. This is why I lean towards Stack Overflow than using AI chatbots. See, when people on Stack Overflow are reading your question and providing answers to, they have an intent of helping you genuinely because only that answer that they give you will get that tick mark and it will get them the points or the accolades or the reward points that they can show to the interviewer as an accolade and as an attribute that can distinguish them from other developers. There is a sense of ranking among developers of who has the highest number of accepted answers on Stack Overflow. This is a real accolade. But on ChatGPT, when we question anything, it doesn't tell us where it got the answer from. It doesn't provide the credit where the credits due. Even if it is a straight copy paste from a Stack Overflow answer, it doesn't tell us who wrote the answer. Where did it get the training data from? This is something that I think makes sense uh, Stack Overflow giving its data away to OpenAI for training purposes and they started deleting their answers from Stack Overflow which Stack Overflow wasn't happy about but it ended up in this whole fiasco where Stack Overflow refused to delete anyone's answers. The last thing that I would like to share with you is a story that my professor told me in when I was in MCA first year that goes like a company was manufacturing soap boxes and it used to have this automated process of putting soaps in boxes and be able to sell it. The customer started to complain that some of the boxes were getting shipped empty. So what did the, yeah, so what did the company do? They installed a $100,000 solution that used x-rays to determine which boxes had soaps in them. This cost a lot to the company, but it did provide the efficiency and it solved the problem to a certain extent. Now a worker in that same factory was looking at this solution and he proposed a $5 table fan that did the same job with much more efficiency. See, at the end, the solutions that we get from other people from Stack Overflow or AI has to carry some intent behind it. The factory worker in this metaphor had some intent to help the company genuinely at the low bare minimum cost. But the company that sold them the laser X-ray based solution, they just wanted to make some money out of it. AI chatbots can never capture the intent aspect of humans. When we write an answer on Stack Overflow, sure, there is a reward mechanism attached to it, but there is some intent attached to it as well. Some people really want to help other people to get over their hurdles of software engineering and help them become better software engineers. But that's not what AI chatbots are made for. We need to realize this before we decide to put our entire eggs into one basket, being like, if AI chatbot cannot give me the answer, then I don't know what to do. We should be aware of this basically. Okay. At the end of this video, I really want to acknowledge the technological marvel that chatbots have become. It was only mentioned in sci-fi or comic books about this technology that can parse human text into an output that AI can think about uh, the solution of the problem and it can tell humans in its own way. But all I'm saying is that when we depend on AI chatbots a little too much, it can fire back on us in no time. 
so i hope that you get the message and next time that you use ai chatbots maybe you depend on your own grit and not take chat gpt's or ai chatbots answer way too literally and you do your own research and become the best version of yourselves so i just wanted to talk about this for a little while and that's about it see you